What's going on boys and girls? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get that Logitech Brio that you've just got purchased, about to purchase, to look as crisp as possible. I'm going to be showing you guys some fundamentals, also showing you the software that I use to get it to look amazing. If you do like this little bit of content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Henry underscore 1K. Let's go. Okay, boys and girls. So for this video slash tutorial, I'm actually bringing you into the stream room just to let you guys know that my Brio is on top of the xbox one there a little bit of a side angle onto my desk but the main reason i brought you into this room is just to show you about lighting lighting is everything i've got the ring light there and i've also to stop any shadows got another light behind me here you can get these these lights slash lamps for quite cheap on amazon don't go for the expensive ones the cheap ones do just as good of a job but so you guys know, so this is with the lighting, but this is just coming from my iPhone camera. So if I was to turn the lighting off. So guys, now this is with a completely pitch black room. The only light is coming from my monitors. So if I was just to turn my down lighters on, the room looks like this. Again, it's got a very yellow fade to it. It doesn't look great. It looks okay. A lot of streamers do do this. But you're spending big money on nice webcams. Just please get yourself some lighting. This is now with the backlights on. You can see the room already looks slightly better. But what finishes it off is with this ring light, which is going straight over my face. So now, guys, this is with the ring light on. And you can see how much of a difference it's made from no lighting, from down lighting just in the ceiling to your ring light and then to the lamp behind me. Lighting guys, lighting and positioning of the camera is key. Let's go on to the next step. Okay, let's have a little bit of a breather. This techie stuff is difficult, isn't it? It's not. Follow my lead, let's get there together. So the next step is, so you've done the lighting, the Logitech Brio is plugged in. You now need to go and download the Logitech G Hub app the link is in the description below download it install it and meet me back here next step so guys you've got away and you've downloaded and installed the logitech g hub application you've now opened it you've got your logitech brio camera plugged in and you've met me on this page you can see yourself you look good right <laughs> not quite as good as you will do in a minute but what you guys now need to do is just to position your webcam is so it's at a nice angle so when you're gaming they can see a good part of your face i'm making the most of that field of view so the logitech brio actually goes to a 90 field of view please use it the reason you brought the webcam was for the field of view right well it was one of the reasons so use the field of view i'm not zooming at all but if i wanted to zoom i could zoom in and out. I've put the focus to auto because I found that worked best. Work with the exposure so you've got no flickering in the background. You then want to go to video and you want to adjust your brightness slightly, your contrast, your sharpness, your white balance and saturation so you look as good as you possibly can. It's going to be a little bit different. I would say copy my settings. You can if you want for a starting base but then dependent on what light you've got in your room it's going to be slightly different so just work at it i'm not going to teach you how to suck lemons enjoy it make yourself look phenomenal my anti flicker is on 60 down at the bottom another quick reminder is that i have got hdr off i found it worked best for me it might be different for you but um this is the external software that i use so my logitech brio is completely adjusted via this software and this software only i'm now going to go over to obs or streamlabs obs whatever you're using i'm going to show you how to get your webcam inside that software let's go 
So now I've opened up the Streamlabs OBS. You may be using OBS. It's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. You start by clicking this plus icon. Once you've clicked that, you want to navigate to video capture device. Click that once and then click add source. You then want to implement a new source into Streamlabs or into this scene as such. So you click add a new source instead. Once you do that, you want to name it. So this one's going to be called my webcam. I then add source. The first change I've got to make is to the device. We're going to change this to the Brio 4K Stream Edition. Once we've done this, we should be able to see our webcam implemented inside OBS. What I am going to do though, guys, is I'm going to put this to the back so it's going to go behind my display capture for the moment so you can still see what I'm doing so to do that I just click and drag and I'm going to put it underneath my display capture now to go back into the settings we right click and we go to properties we've now got the Brio 4k stream edition we can see that it's working we then want to go down and I click this to deactivate when not showing. It just makes my stream lapse a little bit quicker. My resolution is my main change. So I want to change this to custom. Once I've done that, I want to implement the webcam to be the same resolution as what I'm using in Streamlabs OBS. So I'm using 1920 by 1080. So I click that once. My FPS has definitely got to be changed to 60 FPS because that's why we brought the Brio. So we change that to 60 our video format i leave on any i put my color space to 709 so i get the highest color space possible i then get the color range i set to full and my buffering i leave to auto detect i found this work best for me once i've done that i click done as you know, my webcam is now behind my display capture. If I wanted to bring my webcam on top of the display capture so you can see what changes I've implemented, I then click and drag and pull. And it's me. We are here. We've created the webcam. It's 1920 by 1080. It looks amazing. I can then click and drag to make it as big or as small as I want. And Bob's your uncle, guys. Just so you no, a little tip if you open up the logitech app before you open streamlabs the logitech app will be using your webcam what you want to do is implement the changes close the logitech app open streamlabs so it's got full use of your webcam so you can see it inside you then want to open up the logitech app to make the changes and whilst you make them changes, they will happen live inside Streamlabs. I do hope that makes sense. So that is everything. That's how I've set up my Brio. That's the software that I'm using, the Logitech G Hub, which is down in the description below. And that's how I implement it into either Streamlabs OBS or OBS. Boys and girls, if you did enjoy this small bit of content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Henry underscore 1K every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But for now, see you soon.